six stages of conveyancing. So the process starts as soon as the contract for sale is drawn up and make sure you get us a checker before you sign it, all right? Anyway, I know in this competitive market it's really hard, um, but it's really important if you can like get ahead of everything and get us to check it, it's much better. Um, okay, so on the contract, you'll have the property details, including the property um, identification number and the certificate of title number. Okay, it's important that they're on there because that's how we identify what the property is. Um, time spans between clauses and settlement dates and deposit payments, things like that. Inclusions and exclusions in the sale process. So they're the clauses that you want in there and that you don't want in there. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's really important that you put all the clauses that you need in there, all your details are correct, everything's correct. So that's why it's really important for us to look over it before you sign anything. The contract's then signed by both parties. It is not dated until the vendor signs it. So please don't date if you're a purchaser signing it. Um, I've got details on how to sign a contract. If you're unsure, just let me know and I can shoot them through to you, okay? A few things that you need to organise on your end, both purchaser and seller. Obviously, insurance. The seller should have some. Um, they want to think about cancelling that once settlement has taken place. Keep it there until settlement goes through, please. Um, purchaser. Take it out as soon as you get that contract signed, okay? Used to say once finance was unconditional, but now What's a couple of extra dollars if you just do it from once you sign a contract, okay? It's no harm, but you've got to protect your own interest. Um, talk to your conveyancer about any issues you're concerned about, anything that you're worried about. You think there's a shed built in the backyard that doesn't have council approval? Let us know. Um, purchases. Getting your loans organised. Banks are so delayed at the moment, like, I mean, ridiculously delayed. It's holding up a lot of settlements. Um, so, if you can even get pre-approval before you even look at a property, that's fantastic. Well done. So, start doing that because there are long time frames between banks getting approvals, banks getting ready for settlement. Just get onto your bank ASAP, okay? For vendors, discharge of mortgages. If you're thinking about selling your property or it's about to go on the market, sign a discharge authority. Okay, don't even wait for the contract anymore because the banks are so far behind then they're not even being ready in the 30 day time frames. okay? Some banks have 50 odd days waiting time just to do your discharge. So it's not gonna do anything. If you sign a discharge authority, it's just gonna sit there till settlement. So if you're selling your property, you're gonna sell your property. It's just gonna sit there. And if for some reason you decide to pull it off the market, you let the bank know and it all goes away. Don't worry about it, but just get it done. It's much easier. Um, your banks will have access to those discharge authorities. CBA have an online one. I think Westpac have an online one. Um, but otherwise, just give your bank a call. If you're unsure, ask your conveyancer. Like, get your conveyancer lined up as you're putting your property on the market. You don't have to wait till you've got a contract. Start talking to them. All right, so that you've got all these things sorted so there's less delays. So I'm trying to do this video is to help you guys out so there's less delays in the whole process. Because, um, you know, we can do so much, but when it comes to banks, our hands are tied. Vendors, you've got to sign the transfer document. This document comes from the purchaser's conveyancer. Sorry, I was playing with my mic. <laughs> from the purchaser's conveyancer, it gets sent to us, if, like if we're acting to the vendor's conveyancer, and then we send it to you to sign. Um, so there is a process and it depends on when we get it from the purchaser's conveyancer to how fast we can get it to you. Um, so you sign it, send it back as soon as you can because we need to hand the original signed, so we can't do electronic signing, the original signed document over at, land, over at settlement, which then gets registered at the land titles, doc, uh, land titles office. They are just a few quick tips to help you Get everything ready so that the process goes smoothly, okay? Um, any documents your conveyancer sends out to you, if you can get them back as soon as possible, because a lot of the time we can't do anything till we get them back. Um, you know, we can draft things, but when documents are sent out, getting you to confirm your name and things like that, it makes it a bit difficult. And we obviously then need to send documents to the bank. And so anything that your conveyancer sends to them, just get it back as soon as possible. If you've got any questions, give them a call. Send them an email. Um, you know, they'll come back to you. Keep in mind that we're all flat out. Everybody's flat out. Everybody thinks everything's urgent. We're all doing our best, okay? 
um, but we will all get to you. Um, just keep it in mind, okay? We're all just people at the end of the day. We're not machines. Um, so just be patient. If you've got something urgent, I'm sure you can make the notes that it's urgent and they'll be dealing with it. If not, chase them up. It's fine. Um, but just, you know, if we know that, if we've told you we know what's going on and that we'll let you know when we have an update, we will let you know. Um, it's just, you know, most of the time we're waiting on banks or or other sides or whatever's going on in your particular matter. Anyway, this isn't to be like a downer video, it's just to let you guys know what's going on and, and um, this world is changing and just to, you know, we've all just got to be that little bit extra organised nowadays. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. There's a few more tips on our website, so jump on there, check out our vlogs um, and let me know if you like this video because if you do, I'll do some more. Okay, alright, have a great day guys.